I went on to my episode 4 review of Lottie. We see that um, there were, we see that they're an asteroid, but it's not really our asteroid, it's Sylvie's asteroid when she was young and she was kidnapped by the TBA. And then we, uh, we see that uh, Rabona is the god who kidnapped her, so kidnapped Sylvie, and Sylvie got away. So Rabona sees the timekeepers and Mobius is. Shits on Ravonna. He just wants to make sure that she's alright as well. With everything going on with the TVA and, uh, and the guards and all these things. He wants to talk to C20 but to understand more info. And because when Mobius saw C20, she said it's real, it's, it's real, it's real. So basically, he's trying to understand why she said all this. but. Ravonna tells Mobius that C20 is dead because of the enchantment, which later on we understand that that's completely false, and we see that the TVA doesn't know that, that the, the people who the employees in TVA doesn't know that C20 is dead because there's clearly something, they're clearly hiding something. And back in La Matez 1, we see that Sylvie. He remembers life on Asteroid and everywhere so Sylvie went, um, there was a Nexus event um, everywhere that Sylvie got involved in. So and Sylvie knows that's a Nexus event because that's apparently the TVA is haunting her left and right, obviously. And so, but Sylvie puts two and two together, so and the rocks are falling. Um, the rats are falling towards the moon and stuff, and it looks visually beautiful to see, and it's actually really cool. <laughs> yeah, we love that the sea child is amazing here. <laughs> and we see that Loti and Sylvia are causing a Nexus event in the. because they're in a way trinatine. <laughs> so, Loti is taught by Mobius and the rest of TVA, and Loti and Mobius taught about the. They, that Mobius feels betrayed by Loki and all these things and Loki tells him the TVA is lying to him and he doesn't believe him and he takes him to the cell loop and save Watson <laughs> where she tells him that, um, that he'll be alone and all these things and he, she treats him <laughs> where the sun don't shine <laughs> so <laughs> you see that it's on loop kind of like Doctor Strange and Dumamu but it's a bit that uh, Lodi doesn't, it's, but it's a, doesn't feel like a loop, it's more of a loop for Sif, but <laughs> he's, Lodi still has the pain from the previous Sif before she walks away, but yeah, <laughs> that's, well, that's an interesting time cell <laughs> to really think about it. Alright, so Mobius wants to see Sylvie, but Ravonna won't let him in, and in a way she, Ravonna made sense, but that's not really the Lodi uh, Mobius should be focused on. However, it would be nice to. Well, it would be nice for Mobius to uh, at least visit Sylvie to understand. Uh, if, if Mobius believes that Sylvie and Loki are partners, then I feel like you know, Mobius should have every right to meet Sylvie. However, I do understand why we wanna want to let him. But just a little, just a little of which the Loki is what one is trying to say is that, that just for the thing you're on Loki and <laughs> yeah. So B15 asked Mobius um, what Loki said to him and but it's just wondering about the TVS line so and B15 is starting to add, add suspicious and Loki is opening an open time cell and by that he's trying to, he tells he's starting to be more self aware of himself and I would like that for Loki. I feel like that. That time so it didn't really work. So <laughs> all things that happen of trying to what is trying to reason with Mobius but Mobius isn't really listening and we see that and Mobius tells said that Sylvie is pruned which means gone in his definition and and Mobius is trying to understand that Lo Mobius sees the vent that Loki likes Sylvie then 
Mochi tells Mobius that everyone is a variant, but he just doesn't listen and then it's interesting that Loki, I mean, it's interesting that Mobius is really touches on with, that really sees um, how Loki feels when I oh, just just talking to him about him not being so we, for some reason, B-15 feels off and when Warner and Mobius close the case with Loki and which I, which I think is a bad call but I feel like, no wait, I think, I believe they it's really unsure which type of case to close in on the closing case of Loki or Sylvie. It seems that it's Sylvie because I feel like they have Sylvie in the position so I feel that's what they're trying to draw for but either way I feel like it's a bad call because I feel like there was a lot of things that they should that's left unknown within those two. Just because they have them in the position doesn't mean the case should be over, you know what I mean? So if wanna ask Mobius at present but where he wants to go in any timeline and he doesn't have an answer yet and Ravonna tells the Mobius that the timekeepers want to oversee so he's putting in and Mobius can watch and so basically it just shows that Mobius lied to Loki that so he isn't completely gone yet so that's something <laughs> talked about with <Patrol. laughs> So Mobius is just wondering, wonders about C20, what happened with her and other things. So Ravonna wants to protect Mobius. And it does show that she wants to protect Mobius, however, she's doing an awful, she's not, not, she's not, she's not doing a bad job, she's just, it just seems like so um, sketchy, yeah. <laughs> so then, uh, she has. Um, the sword that she puts away and then Mobius switches the temp pad with um his temp pad with hers so he didn't want us uh, so he didn't see um more to learn more about what Vona is hiding. Sylvie and B fifteen drove back to Rock's Court 2050 in Alabama and she sees um she uses the her power Sylvie uses her powers on um B fifteen and she believes her she believes Sylvie that um, that's what's happening. That the fact that she believes that the the, the death that she saw is for for actual past, and we see that Mobius like is in the library and he opens the the one of the pad and he sees footage of C20 being interrogated by Ravonna and the and at the TVA and and the fact that C20 had a life. Outside of TVA, yeah. and Mobius, we need to trust Loki and Sylvie because uh, it's obvious that Ravonna is lying. He, Mobius is understanding that that Ravonna's lying to him, so Ravonna touches him and add, and all these things happen. And Mobius tells Ravonna that he will want to go to where he was back then before the TVA and his life. Uh, a possible jet ski and she prunes him so dang it's like, it seems like he dies so more that later we said the Vona wants the guards to hunt down B15 because she has knowledge that it's all she's starting to um, understand that TBA is not where it seems so Vona wants to catch her before it's too late so we as Vona will what was the next event that caused her to be kidnapped and hunted down or, and throughout the years and Ravonna says that she hasn't known it I was saying that happened years ago a decade ago you know what I mean but it was such a big deal with, with a really powerful variant such as Sylvie I believe that, that it's in I feel like Ravonna should know I feel like Ravonna Ravonna should have really kept that day in the kept that nexus event in her mind and as a, a struggle because as a frustration because so that's something that needs to um, be addressed and the fact that she the one of says that she doesn't know it doesn't really that like, it's kinda of messed up that she doesn't know, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that she doesn't know it. I'm not saying that she doesn't remember that was years ago but I believe that 
So we have the right to know, especially that her, her life was basically taken from her, from her life and as God. So it makes, it makes no sense. You know what I mean, yeah. So the, the timekeepers debate, <laughs> and Lord is starting to fall for Sobi, but he wants to. He tries to open up with her, but Loki that's pruned by Ravonna and Sobi that's mad and says that tells Ravonna that she's not. She wants to learn everything from the TVA and all these things. So we talk to Loki, who got pruned, and there's four other Lokis. There's uh, two adult Lokis and a child Loki and Ella together. Loki and we see that uh, the Stark Tower in the background is all being up. Remember, this is um, Loki from 2012, so it's not a vicious tower yet. <laughs> and so, I would, I would like this episode, I really like, like, like this is uh, I really like to understand why Mobius was the way he was this episode. I feel like, I feel like if he were just drawn along with it, I feel like if he believed Loki right there and there and there, Beginning, there won't be as much conflict for all these things, and with Ravonna, I understand that that's her job in all these things. And I wonder how she ended up being a, how she went from being a god to a, to who the position she is now. That's something that I would like to know about, and all these things. And who knows if Mobius and Loki will meet up in the prune um, um, point. I don't know. Timeline, it's not a timeline, but to me, I, I don't know what to me. I'm not calling it the uh, prune life, <laughs> I don't know. but yeah. Hopefully, Loki and Mobius can reunite. That's pretty much what I'm saying. So, hopefully, um, they can <laughs> think of and who knows what Loki will say to Sylvie when they if the decisions to reunite and and. How many other Lotties are there and how, how many that is that so many questions now that I, I just Lottie Jane and Prune and uh, being uh, awake and kind of uh, alive with this more questions than what type of power does TVA really have? More so power than the Infinity Stones, you know what I mean? It's insane. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. By the time you're watching this, I already reviewed episode 3, so the video is here, so thank you so much for watching, thank you for your patience. I'm um, gonna uh, review episode 5 uh, um, tomorrow as soon as it's out, but uh, I don't know if this video will be out today, but yeah, <laughs> alright, thank you for watching, bye.